Joe Rogan is on the apology tour, and oh boy, this is going to be a rough one to watch. Let's check out his apology video. He just posted to Instagram for saying racist things. Hello, friends. Um, I'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. There's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the N-word. It's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast, and it's all smushed together, and it looks fucking horrible, even to me. Now, I know that to most people, there is no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word, never mind publicly on a podcast. And I agree with that now. I haven't said it in years, but for a long time, when I would bring that word up, like if it would come up in conversation, and stay, instead of saying the N word, I would just say the word. I thought as long as it was in context, people would understand what I was doing. Like that context was part of the clip we were talking about Red Fox, how Red Fox said that word on television in the 1970s, and how times have changed so much since then. Or about how Richard Pryor used it as one of the titles of one of his albums. Or I was quoting a Lenny Bruce bit. Or I was qu quoting a Paul Mooney bit. Or a, I was talking about how Quentin Tarantino used it repeatedly in Pulp Fiction. Or I was talking about how a Netflix executive, ironically, used it because he was trying to compare it to another offensive word. And he said it out loud and they fired him. Not calling anybody or just saying the word out loud. I was also talking about how there's not another word like it in the entire English language. Because it's a word where only one group of people is allowed to use it. And they can use it in so many different ways. Like if a white person says that word, it's racist and toxic. But a black person can use it and it could be a punchline, it could be a term of endearment, it could be lyrics to a rap song, it could be a positive affirmation. It's a very unusual word, but it's not my word to use. I'm well aware of that now, but for years I used it in that manner. I never used it to be racist because I'm not racist, but whenever you're in a situation where you have to say, I'm not racist, you fucked up, and I clearly have fucked up. And that's my intention to express myself in this video, to say there's nothing I can do to take that back. I wish I could, but obviously that's not possible. I do hope that, if anything, that this can be a teachable moment. Because I never thought it would ever be taken out of context and put in a video like that. And now that it is... Holy shit, it looks bad. And it, it's part of also me doing this podcast for thousands of hours, thousands of episodes, over 12 years. I said a lot of fucking stupid shit, which is fine when you're talking about most things, but not when you're talking about race. And there's another clip that I have to address. There's a clip from 11 years ago. I was telling a story in the podcast about how me and my friend Tommy and his girlfriend, we got really high. We were in Philadelphia and we went to go see Planet of the Apes and we didn't know where we were going. We just got dropped off by a cab and we got dropped off in this all black neighborhood. And I was trying to make the story entertaining. And I said, we got out and it was like we were in Africa. It's like we were in Planet of the Apes. I did not, nor would I ever say that black people are apes but it sure fucking sounded like that and I immediately afterwards said that's a racist thing to say the planet of the apes wasn't even in Africa I was just saying there's a lot of black people there but then I went on to talk about what a positive experience it was and how much fun it was to go to see this movie in a black neighborhood it wasn't a racist story but it sounded terrible and like I said you can have clunky stories about anything, but not about race. And so I deleted that whole podcast, but obviously somebody made a clip out of it and taken out of context. It looks terrible, but it looks terrible even in context. It's a fucking idiotic thing to say, 
and I was just trying to be entertaining. I certainly wasn't trying to be racist, and I certainly would never want to offend someone for entertainment with something as stupid as racism. My hope is that, look, I can't go back in time and change what I've said. I wish I could. Obviously, that's not possible. But I do hope that this can be a teachable moment for anybody that doesn't realize how offensive that word can be coming out of a white person's mouth in context or out of context. My sincere and humble apologies. I wish there was more that I could say, but all of this is just me talking from the bottom of my heart. It makes me sick watching that video, but hopefully at least some of you will accept this and understand where I'm coming from. My apologies and much love. My sincere, deepest apologies and much love. Oh, boy. So, uh, Hello, friends. Yeah, that's the apology. Oof, that was cringe to watch. Uh, maybe joining Spotify wasn't the best thing for Rogan because those clips have been out there forever and he's never addressed it before. But now he has to because he works for Spotify. The ironic thing is Joe Rogan signed that Spotify deal to get off of YouTube because he saw the censorship coming from YouTube uh, a couple of years ago when his whole COVID thing started. So he figured, you know what? I'll just join Spotify, go behind the paywall. I don't think the money really mattered. He was making that much amount of money off his podcast anyway. But he's going to end up on Spotify and now he's going to end up being censored anyway. And now he's apologizing for stuff that those videos have been out there. He's never had to apologize for it before. But now because of probably behind the scenes pressure in Spotify, he, they're making him address it now. And this sad, pathetic apology video. Oof. And, of course, this apology is going to mean nothing to nobody who already hates Joe Rogan and wants to take him down. But... He did the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But yeah, this was this was a rough one to have to watch. Him in his library just going, oh, oh, it's never good if you have to make a video apologizing and trying to say you're not racist. Never a good thing. But let me know your thoughts in the comments.